last to bless. Question, what is your greatest reward when you praise something that is praiseworthy? Stay tuned to find out. The answer might surprise you. Hello, I'm Pastor Craig. Thank you for joining me for our weekly communion, staying connected in a changed and ever-changing world. In Psalm 73, we saw that worship was the first step out of the sinkhole of resentment and envy. And I'd like to share one more micro step with you that will lead you from spiritual lethargy to sacred purpose, from lifelessness to joyful mission. Micro step number one, adore. Praise the praiseworthy in the company of all. Not convinced? Not even sure what I'm talking about? Well, let's take a look at what the good book says. We're going to open up our Bibles to Psalm 67, verses 1 through 7. As I read this, what I'd like you to do as we read it together, count the number of times the words may, bless, and praise appear. Let's read now. May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face shine on us so that your ways may be known on earth, your salvation among all nations. May the peoples praise you, God. May all the peoples praise you. May the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you rule the peoples with equity and guide the nations of the earth. May the peoples praise you. May all the peoples praise you. The land yields its harvest. God, our God, blesses us. May God bless us still, so that all the ends of the earth will fear him. Imagine the holy, awesome God blessing mere mankind in all of our imperfection and lawlessness. Who are we to be blessed? The face of God shining upon us is his very presence. As turned towards man, with man, his face turned upon man in love and mercy is life and salvation, says the pulpit commentary. Well, Keller in his devotional, The Songs of Jesus, says this. Like Abraham, we are blessed, in verse 1, only that we might be a blessing to all the peoples of the earth. Verse 2, blessed to bless. Then God said to Abraham, I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. And all peoples on earth will be blessed by you. Keller continues in his devotional on the psalm, and he says this, If you truly enjoy something, you instinctively want to help others to praise it too. Praising it to others completes the enjoyment. Now, this is a reflection by C.S. Lewis. I want you to think about that. Completing enjoyment. The praise of the praiseworthy is above all rewards. And that is the point we want to make this morning. Praising is the greatest reward. Praising God before man and witnessing to his grace, his favor and salvation completes the enjoyment of it. So true enjoyment of God must lead naturally to mission, to helping others see the beauty and blessing that you see, that I see, that we see in God. God never draws us in close to himself except to send us out. Our sacred purpose and joyful mission to serve and reach others. And we see in verse 3 and 4, remember it said, uh, we, we want this multi-ethnic international church of worshipers and a world of justice. Well, it comes from this. Let's read again. May the peoples praise you, God. May all the peoples praise you. May the nations be glad and sing for joy. 
for you, God, rule the peoples with equity, fairness, justice. Well, Keller concludes that we must not take credit for our own blessings, but always point beyond ourselves to God through praise. Would you pray with me? Lord, I praise you in the company of all, testifying to your salvation and grace in my life. You truly are God and worthy of praise. You, O oh Lord, go beyond equity. You go beyond fairness. You have extended your grace to me. You, in all your lofty beauty, have delighted not only in me, but in us, all those who call you through faith by name, and blessed us through and by grace. Please remove, Lord, any fear, all fear, lethargy, so that we can speak to others of your glory and your goodness. Make me, make us a witness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, again, this is not the end of the study. Get out your UC notebook and open your Bible to Psalm 67 and answer these three questions. What does the Bible teach me about who God is and why I should praise Him? What does it teach me about who I am and what I should admit, admit or confess? And what does the passage teach about life and what we should aspire to? Thank you for joining me for our weekly communion. You can listen to all our messages and worship services on YouTube and Facebook by typing in the words Union Church Rio. That's Union Church Rio. See, share, and subscribe. Stay well, friends. Stay connected in a changed and ever-changing world.